Good morning, I'm Gerhard Mathingani with today's Sports Brief. Alabama has bought themselves at least a couple of extra days of baseball in Hoover. The 10th seed of Crimson Tide upset number 7 seed South Carolina in the first round of the SEC tournament. Final score was 9-3. to Tide offense was led by Peyton Wilson, who was 3-5 of five with a pair of runs. Pitcher Tyler Ross went six innings with five hits and four strikeouts. The win moves them into the double elimination part of the bracket. And more importantly, it helps keep their NCAA tournament hopes alive. The last couple weeks for me have been the best thing. So I was just going up there and just honestly just trying to have some fun. And I just kind of impressed it a little bit and not, not seeing the ball as good as I could. So I just kind of just let the ball travel. Just seeing good pitches, swinging at strikes, taking balls, and just kind of just going up there and having fun, honestly, and just letting my hands work and not worrying about outcomes or anything like that. Just trying to trying to put a uh, bat on ball and just have fun and just whatever happens, happens, honestly. So that was kind of my mindset going into the week, just do whatever I can to help my team out and have fun while doing it. Good game for us all the way around, obviously, a, a big game and a, and a big win. Um, quite certain our season would have been over if we'd lost today and the, the kids were excited you know we had a really spirited workout yesterday um, not surprised at all that our, our kids brought their best effort and um, you know we pitched well Tyler Ross gave us just a huge start uh, of, of good innings and also going deep in the game on a little short rest and Brock Guffey did a great job for three innings of putting up zeros and, and helping us save our bullpen made a couple of diving plays, clean defense, and you know some production up and down the lineup. So just a really complete game for us, and uh, really happy for the kids and proud of them and excited that we get to play at least two more days. The tie will hit the field again today against number two seed Tennessee. The Vols are ranked the number five team in the country. First pitch of the Tide and balls set for one o'clock on the SEC Network. And that wraps up your sports brief. Our program continues next.